Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to bleach your hair white, or as close to white as you can get it. Uh, so we have some bleach powder from Sally's, as well as 40 volume developer, both were like maybe $10, and some conditioner, Aussie Moist, as well as a mixing bowl and some gloves and something to stir the bleach with. So. For most of my head, I use about three scoops of, de of the bleach powder, and then I just add developer until it's the right consistency. If it's too runny, it'll just slide around and it won't be easy to apply at all. Yeah, something like that. And I'm going to go ahead and protect the rest of my hair with a little bit of conditioner, the parts that I won't be bleaching. I'm just doing my roots, really, with the bleach. The three scoops of powder and um, developer will be enough to do most of my roots, but it's better to mix some later on because the bleach gets less and less effective as it sits. And especially since I would be applying it later on my head and that part wouldn't be sitting in the bleach for very long, it's better to go ahead and mix a fresh batch that'll be more, more uh, potent. So I start on my part and my bangs since that's what I want to be the lightest and that's what people will see most often. And then I kind of gave up with the whole fork and just went for the finger application. So pretty much I just add it in and then like massage it around my head like it's shampoo. And you want to work pretty quickly because by the time I get halfway through my head my bangs will already, already be pretty light blonde. It took me maybe 15 minutes to apply everything and then you don't want to wait much longer than that with the bleach in because it'll work pretty quickly with the 40 volume developer. I have about medium brown hair, naturally, and this works pretty well. Yeah, so once I have the most obvious places out of the way, or the parts that most people will be seeing, then I go back in and like kind of section off my hair and keep adding in more bleach. I try to avoid the the rest of my hair as much as possible, but I mean, one or two times bleaching over the same place isn't going to hurt it too much, especially since I wait about a month between each bleaching. But yeah, just try to try to avoid previously bleached areas if possible. And I always seem to miss a part around my ears, but nobody really sees back there anyway. And it helps when you're bleaching if you make some really funny faces, it just helps the bleach work so much better. I speak from experience. Oh, and there's the back there. I do two braids pretty often, so I want to really get that part. And you can see my bangs are already pretty blonde, even though it's been maybe like six or seven minutes.
So I'm going pretty light here because I want it to be kind of a gray silver when I'm done. But if you're looking for anything that's like green or teal or dark purple, you shouldn't need to let it go this light. You will need to let it go pretty light if you're thinking a pastel color or maybe like a light pink or even a medium pink to avoid any salmon tones. So I'm using a hair dryer just to speed things up a little bit. And I'm going to wash it out with a silver shampoo, which is actually kind of purple. And that should reduce any yellow tones that are still going on. So I'm going to go wash that out. And here it is right out of the shower. It's a little darker and also my lighting isn't the best. But you can see I got it pretty light even with it being wet there. Obviously the parts that I have already like bleached and toned are going to be more silver than my fresh roots. Not too bad. And here it is dry. Well, partially dry. I just wanted to dry the roots really quickly so you could see the result. And yeah, not too bad. My lighting in here is a little bit yellow, so I'm gonna show you in natural light in just a moment. But it should work enough for me to get the silver I'm after, which will be in the next video. And here we go, this is more natural light. Pretty much white. A little bit more toning will help. Now I didn't do any toning other than the one purple shampoo. So here you go. Hope you enjoyed it. And